So today we're going to talk about three things that I really hate about Valorant, but not necessarily the game itself. We're going to talk about things that people do in the game that really grinds my gears. And uh, to start off, we're going to talk about pistol rounds. And uh, of course, what I'm talking about is buying a sheriff on a pistol round. So if you buy a sheriff on a pistol round, that means that you cannot buy any other utility or anything else, right? The sheriff is all that you've got. And this really, really annoys me on pistol round for a few reasons. The first one is that there just is, in general, less utility on a pistol round. And that means that that utility that you do have becomes more important because there's going to be less use and less counter use of that utility. For instance, let's say I am playing Breach, right? And I flash through this wall and I go and swing off this flash and there's someone here that is flashed, right? They're unlikely to have a response, right? They're less likely to have a response that stops me from coming out of the choke point and swinging right on here because it's a pistol round. And so they're going to have less utility utility so if they're flashed you know likelihood is i can you know come through here and swing on them and get that kill and i've used my utility and that just got me a free kill but perhaps more importantly than that is the fact that the difference between a sheriff and a ghost or a frenzy often doesn't matter in a pistol round there are a few exceptions of course but particularly when we're talking about the high levels of the game where the headshot percentage is pretty high and whatnot let's take a look at this round from navi versus parlor and parlor actually have gone and bought three sheriffs in this round on the pistol round and one of the main advantages of course with a sheriff versus like a ghost is that you can one tap someone you know from uh, from range as well you know against any who buys light armor however buying light armor on a pistol round is quite rare particularly in certain team comps for instance here we can see only one out of ten players has light armor right i would say that you know light armor with a classic tends to be less common than going for a ghost or a frenzy or whatnot uh, in general so keep that in mind that you know for most of those times that's not going to be the case and here we're going to see a round where actually a sheriff gets four kills between the three sheriffs on parlor they're going to get four kills but every single one of these kills would have happened with a ghost right and that is i think the crucial crucial thing here is you know we've got a ko and a fade and a jet here with no utility and the sheriffs are about to get a couple kills this this ko is about to get one just there right with a headshot this is within 30 meters there is no uh shields on zip and there that would have been a kill with a ghost right and then as we run this round forward actually the fade is going to manage to get three kills with a sheriff but all three of these kills as you can see from the you know the hps of the of the players here from the navi players we're gonna manage uh, sorry the navi players on this side uh you know none of them have shields we're gonna see one and then two and then three headshots really really nice very well done by this fade uh but the thing is the ghost would have got all those three kills anyway and that is most of the time going to be the case with the sheriff in general and so you're just putting yourself at a disadvantage where you could have had a bit of extra util as well to use and potentially you know that could have come in come in use for the rest of the round the second thing that really grinds my gears is not buying utility when you could you're on a save round but you don't trust yourself not to use that utility so you don't buy it so that you can you know definitely buy it next round when you'll actually need it here's an example uh from parlor uh esports where they are going to have the chamber here masic and he's not gonna buy an alarm but okay so he doesn't have the chamber trap here you can see he has the money he has 200 credits here to potentially buy it if he wants to buy it but he's not going to now he has a hero rifle as well right with light shields because uh, he's gonna you know go for the hero rifle because next round he has his ult anyway so it's not going to make that much of a difference the correct choice to go and you know buy that hero rifle this round they also have two sheriffs in this round right uh, and so to me there is a chance here in this round they have some amount of chance of winning this round right if, if mesa gets the first kill with this rifle which he easily could do you know then they're in a pretty decent situation they pick up that gun right now you've got two guns now you're you know really cooking with fire right the jet is only one ult orb off getting the knives as well with full shields you can see that that's clearly the plan here that to me looks like a round where you have a, a decent enough chance of winning right but we're not gonna buy an alarm bot because we're scared we're gonna use it and then not have it for the full buy round next round well and this really really does annoy me by the way just don't use it just learn set rules to not use it right until you end up in a situation just make very very hard and clear rules we're not using any utility that you know we couldn't buy next round or if you're in this kind of situation buy the utility but don't use it unless we are in a situation where we feel like we are the favorites to win the round right if we get into a 5v3 or a 4v2 right and we've got guns all of a sudden you want to have that utility to close out that round right it was a distinct possibility that in this round you know 
Parlor would come around here, get this first kill, you know, end up, pick up this gun as well, end up in a 5v4 with two guns, they plant the spike, they get onto the site, but then, you know, two people die to someone flanking them around here because they didn't have an alarm butt down, right? And that is like a distinct possibility in this round. And that would have been a travesty. It didn't end up happening in this round. They are just going to end up losing it. We can play it uh, through uh, a bit quicker if we want. Uh, here in 1.5 speed, they are just going to lose this round uh, at Parlor here. But the thing is, you know, that is a distinct possibility. And you will see a lot of pro teams, by the way, do this. And it always annoys me because you never know how this round is going to play out. You never know what bit of utility you might need. And as soon as you end up in a man up situation, you know, two players up situation, you want to be using that utility, right? You want to just be closing out the round at that point. You know, forget the economy. You want to just win the round at that point. And, you know, if you do win the round, your economy will probably be fine either way, right? So it's just something that, you know, pro teams, I think they need to get onto the 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 level where you know you just make hard and hard rules for yourself right make very very stringent hard rules you know where you if if that is the case that you don't trust yourself not to use it well then you know get to a point where you can consistently are practicing to the point where you know when and when not to use it for yourself make those hard rules about you know we are only going to use this utility if we are a man up let's say and the final thing that really grinds my gears is not understanding buys when you are heavily up in a round and you win the second pistol. For instance, let's take a look at DRX versus Gen G. DRX won the first half 10 to 2. They then went and win the next pistol round as well. They go up 11 to 2, right? The thing is, Gen G, you know, are going to force this round, right? They, they can't really afford to go down to 12 and then hope to win 10 rounds in a row. That's just not really feasible. Of course, they are going to force, even though they're on the defensive side, right? And if they're on the attacking side, they definitely, definitely force. And they're even going to force on the defensive side here as well. But for whatever reason, and I see this a lot, People on these kind of rounds where you're up heavy numbers, you know your opponent is going to force. They'll buy marshals. They'll buy phantoms with light shields. And it's a massive, massive, massive mistake. And, and here is a good example, right? We've got Buzz here. They're up 11-2. He's bought a phantom with light shields. But he knows that the opponents are probably going to have stingers and specters. So why are we buying light shields, right? And there's another player on DRX here who also buys light shields. Because the thing is... We know that they're going to force. And if we give them a rifle as well, right, we know that that's going to be a big, big problem in this round. If you die and you know that they're going to have specters and stingers in this instance. And guess what happens? DRX lose this round, right? So if you are in this situation, you're up 11-2 like DRX here. You've just won the pistol. You're feeling good about yourself. Buy Bulldog, Spectre, full shields, you know, util as well, and go from there, right? Don't take this chance with either, be it, you know, marshals and things like that, where, you know, it's not going to be a one shot to the body, uh, or, you know, as I said, like phantoms or, or vandals with light shields, right? It's just not worth the risk in this instance, because you see, they're just going to get destroyed by these little stingers and whatnot, right? They, they're they going to lose this round to a bunch of stingers. And part of the reason is because, right, stacks, he goes down to super low HP there. He's now on four HP. Buzz is on 63 HP all of a sudden because they put themselves into a bad situation, right? They should have never ended up in this situation at all. And this happens again all the time in pro games even. And it's something that always annoys me because there's no reason to do it. We should be playing, you know, super safe at this point. We're up 11-2. No reason to take a risk. We don't need to win the next round after this one, right? Why would that matter? We've got 10 chances to win the game. Right, we don't need to win the very next one on our bonus. We don't need a good bonus. We just need to secure this round because if we lose this round, it could become a bit of a catastrophe. You know, if we don't, and there you see, they get destroyed and uh, they give Gen G basically this round because I think, in my opinion, their buy kind of helped Gen G win this round. And so that was just three things that annoy me in Valorant. I'd be very interested. I'm sure you've got a long, long list of things that people do in game with things like this, right? With the economy or, you know, the, the utility usage and whatnot. Things that annoy you in the game. Things that you've seen your teammates do and you're just like, what are you doing? Let me know in the comments down below. But with that, have a really nice day.